This is just a start. Volunteers are sifting through donated face masks destined for Toronto area hospitals. They've received 30,000, but they're asking for 3 million. It's a huge number, but is that enough? I don't even think 3 million is sufficient to get through the pandemic. 3 million is probably only sufficient for the first several weeks at most. And don't forget that's just for the Toronto area. In regions across the country, healthcare workers are concerned personal protective equipment may run out when the coronavirus surge strikes. We understand from our colleagues in both Italy and New York City that uh, it's not a gentle ebb and flow. Suddenly they just appear on your door and you're overwhelmed. Quebec says it only has enough PPE for another week, while some Ontario nursing homes may run out in just a day or two, says this because union leader. The, uh, safety measures uh, in place in the facilities um, are inadequate. We're told that equipment is coming, but it never really arrives. Consider what happened at this Winnipeg hospital, deprived of dozens of staff all at once, sent home for fear they were exposed to the virus. If we had improved or started the PPE earlier, we may not be seeing the, the amount that we're seeing right now with nurses off work. Despite unprecedented demand around the world, Canada just got another plane load of masks, among more than 10 million received this week. The government is urging provinces to coordinate their orders through Ottawa to avoid bidding wars and competition. We've contracted services for domestic uh, distribution through Amazon and other, other providers, and that will help make sure things can get to places very quickly. On the front line, though, it's an agonizing wait, knowing a risk to medical staff means a greater risk for everyone. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, Toronto.